This is how to categorize and group transactions by month in Fintable. So what we're going to do is come here and add another column. And you're not going to go to date, you're going to go to formula because we're just going to extract a value from something that's already a date. And this formula is pretty cool. Let's title this month. And we're going to use a date time format formula. So there we go. And then use your special parentheses to identify a column header. Then we're going to go asterisk, asterisk, date. And then once it's purple or another color, it means it's recognizing the value or the data. And then you're going to do comma. Um, one parenthesis, I forgot what that's called, but there you go. And then four M's. And the four M's will be um, the full name of the month. If you do three M's, it's AUG, or like abbreviated. Two M's is like O1, and then one M is just one, but I'm going to want the full thing for now. And then close your parenthesis, and then create field. There you go. And then how to group by that, you can just go group, see all fields, month. There we go. This is not that satisfying because I only have two months worth of data up in here. Um, but let's just say we wanted to filter and only see September, for example. We could add a condition, go to month, contains, and then September. There we go. Now it's just September values. And you can do a lot of cool tricks with this. So hope you like that. I'll put the formula in the description. Have fun. Don't go crazy.